as Young Australian of the Year in 2011. Are you able to bring any of your experiences from that year to your studies? How do they interact? Yeah, it's only now that I'm really looking back and going, realising what a huge impact that year of Young Australian of the Year had on me. You know, at the time it was such a, a whirlwind, but now I'm looking back and realising that all the people I met along the way, because it, it's such a busy year of sort of touring and going to all these different events and a lot of schools and, and different states. And, and, yeah, the people I got to meet along the way, I'm kind of going, they have all had you know, an impact on me and exposed me to some different things and of course a lot of really selfless people doing some really incredible um, things. So that's, yeah, that's been really important I think when I look at, you know, again, who have become now. I went back and had a look at the video of you receiving the award from Julia Gillard yeah. and you made such a fantastic uh, speech on that occasion. I would recommend that to everybody who's able to uh, access that and go back and have a look at what you said, the way you said it, the way you presented yourself, it was fantastic. Uh, so that, that belief in yourself that's clearly there, uh, how is that going to impact on your future career path, do you think? Yeah, it, there's definitely the, the belief in myself, which obviously I had to have a lot of to sail around the world. And it's not just a blind confidence, though. It's, you know, it's because I spent years preparing and then um, it is something that I'm sort of going again now to have the confidence to sort of pursue the, the business and other challenges I want to take on. Um, I mean, it's not a matter of just having confidence for the sake of it. it. It needs to be informed and I suppose that's why I am studying and I am doing this MBA is, is to kind of give myself that backing and to go, you have, you know, you do know this, this is what you don't know <laughs> and, and to give myself that confidence. Uh, that uh, four years that you put in in terms of preparation uh, is indicating a strong um, capability. Do you think that's developable in other people, that preparation? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, the first thing people sort of say to me is, um, you know, how do you have the confidence? How do you sail around the world? It's such a huge risk. But as soon as you actually understand the risks, and that does take some time, um, you have that confidence in, and you can make a quite an informed decision. And I think you see it in other people and in everything they do as well, that it's only sort of through learning and then through preparation that you, you have that confidence to take on new challenges. So what led you to start an MBA? What was the pathway that got you thinking about an MBA? Uh, I suppose I sat down, it was probably the end of last year, and I sort of started thinking about what I want to do with my next couple of years. And I came to the conclusion that I just wanted to learn as much as possible, as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. So I sort of tossed up my options for whether there would be a role that I would be able to learn a huge amount in. Um, and it, tried out a few different options, talked to a lot of people mm. and eventually came to the conclusion that um, an MBA as well as a few different work roles at the same time would be mm. probably one of the best ways to learn mm. as fast as possible. One of the goals that we've encouraged you to look at is the goal that you're thinking about in terms of your MBA. What goals have you set for the MBA for you? Yeah, it's a challenge for me I suppose and, and a huge learning opportunity. I mean. I think there's a lot of people, you know, the day after I got back from sailing around the world and finished a few of the other sailing adventures and projects I've been part of, everyone asks, what's next? You know, what are you going to do next? And you know, I've always had these goals, um, but the funny thing is I don't think going out and sailing around the world again or doing it backwards would have really challenged me. Um, it, I'm not saying it's an easy thing to do, but I really wanted to put myself completely out of my comfort zone in other ways mm. since those, those adventures mm. um, to challenge myself in different ways. Mm. And study has been that for me and, and it continues to be that because it's something that was so unfamiliar for me mm. and really pushes me in a whole new way. It would have been almost a bit boring and easy to continue um, taking on mm. other sailing adventures. Not that that's my last by any means. Mm. Mm. So. This for me is really about challenging myself and stretching myself in a new way. And there are a whole lot of goals and you know, career goals um, that, that's going to help me work towards. And even some of my passions like getting more people out on the water sailing. You know, these are the sort of skills um, that are going to be very useful for seeing those kinds of things happen. Mm.